So we have to look at ticks in this video. Basically in ticks there are two types. We have the hard tick and the soft tick. Okay. So basically the tick, its body is oval in shape. What is it by the way? It is an orthropod. So they are ectoparasites of vertebrate animals. They suck blood. Okay. So that is why we are reading because they spread diseases. We are looking at them. Basically uh, the tick, the body of a tick will be oval shaped. Okay, first of all, what it is? It is an orthropod. It is an ectoparasite. That means it is not inside us, but above us. So, it is ectoparasite. They suck blood. Right? So, what do you mean by orthropod? In Kingdom Animalia, you have seen a phylum orthropod, if you remember. Usually, these are insects, right? They have jointed appendages. Okay. So, let's move on now. Ticks are oval shaped. They are uh, not separated into uh, head, thorax, abdomen. They don't have the separation. Mainly you have to remember that. They don't have any specific separation into uh, a head, thorax and abdomen. There is no separation. You can see it's pretty clear here. And it is oval shape. This one shows some oval shape. There is no separation of head, thorax and abdomen. They have four pairs of legs. So they have four pairs of legs. That is also visible here. Right? So four pairs of legs are visible. And they don't have antenna. Okay. So basically, hard ticks, these hard ticks are covered with, on their dorsal surface, are covered on their dorsal surface with chitinous shield. So here you can see on the dorsal side, they are calling it as a dorsal, dorsal shield, a chitinous shield called scutum. This is called a scutum. Okay. This in the male covers the entire back. In the male, it covers the entire back. In the female, it is only small part and front. Okay. The scutum or dorsal shield is absent in soft ticks. So, in soft ticks, you should not be able to see that shield. Dorsal shield. Okay. So, basically, where is the shield present? In the hard tick. Okay. Hard tick has the shield. Now, what about the capitulum? So, head or capitulum, they are saying it is not head, but generally, it is not a distinct head. So, it's like a head, what is there? A capitulum, right? There is, it is there in the anterior end. So, actually for um, a soft tick, the capitulum will be in the bottom. So, here you can't see, we'll put it in dotted lines. So, it is there in, in the downward surface. Hence, the capitulum is not visible here in the soft tick. Males are smaller than females. This is very general and males are smaller than females. Even in parasitology, you have seen all those tapeworms and any worms. You see the female is always larger, right? Similarly here, the female will be larger. So guys, are you understanding what are we reading today? Ticks. Okay. So how many types of ticks are there? Hard tick. Hard tick. Say loudly, hard tick. Hard tick. And soft tick. And soft. Okay. So, this is a hard tick and this is a soft tick. Okay. okay. The hard tick, it feeds both day and night. It cannot stand starvation. So, hard tick will keep feeding, feeding, feeding. Okay. The soft tick, they feed only during the night. So, the soft tick feeds only during the night and it can starve itself for several months. So, it feeds when? During the night. It can starve itself for several months. So, that is another feature of these. The hard ticks, guys, are found on their hosts. Soft ticks hide in cracks and crevices. Obviously, you can understand soft tick, it doesn't have this uh, chitinous uh, shield, right? So, it will hide in cracks and crevices, okay? Hard tick, on the other hand, it can be there even on the host, okay? Then hard ticks will affect what? Domestic animals such as dogs, cattle, right? So guys, these hard ticks, they are giving some names. Let's learn these names now. Hard ticks are derma center. Derma center. One is that. Then you have hemophysalis, hyaloma, and so many are the refisifalis. Bufilis. Okay. So, these are the common hard ticks. So, actually from medical standpoint, the soft tick is of importance. And which soft tick is important? The soft tick which spreads relapsing fever. That is very important. That is Ornithodorus maubata. 
Okay, so focus only on this one. Ornitho Doris, Ornitho Doris, Maubata. Okay, it spreads what? Relapsing fever. Transmits relapsing fever. Okay. So basically, the tick, what it does, it attaches itself to the host. How does it attach to the host? By means of its mouth parts, it will attach itself towards the host. So guys, let's try to understand this here. How these ticks affect us. So what they do? Okay. They will attach themselves to the host by means of the mouth parts. Then the rostrum is burrowed into the skin and it will suck blood. Okay, that similarly uh, at the same time it will secrete some saliva also and that saliva will have neurotoxin. The female ticks, they will remain attached for a long time. Male tick usually drops off. So as this tick feeds, they will be engorged with blood. Okay, so how do these ticks transmit disease? They, trick, uh, they transmit disease by biting. Okay, even the larva and the nymph stages are capable of transmitting diseases by biting. Even the larva bites. Interesting. So... Infection is maintained transstadially. Experiments have shown transovarian transmission of infection. Okay, so let us now uh, look at some more points here about the differences between hard tick and soft tick. So they have some terms here. Hard tick, exodic. Soft tick, argacidae. So they are saying exodidae, exodidae. Argacidae. Now let us look at the diseases which are transmitted. Soft tick you already know. Relapsing. Relapsing fever. Hard tick it spreads tick typhus. Tick typhus. Then viral encephalitis. Hemorrhagic fever. Tularemia. Tick paralysis and human babesiosis okay so it transmits all these okay so what are the important species we have already looked at we have already looked at the species names if you remember for hardic uh, derma centaur hi, uh, hemo hyaloma so many others then softic mainly they told to remember this ornithodorus maubata okay so this also we have seen other uh, differences between hardic and softic you know that hard tick, it, um, there is a scutum, it covers the entire back in male, only small portion in the uh, female. So basically scutum is nothing but that chitinous shield. In soft uh, ticks, those are absent. Uh, how is the head uh, in the hard tick? The head in the hard tick will be there in the anterior end. Head like uh, structure it is, it is not exactly head you can say. Then soft tick, um, it lies ventrally. It is not seen from above because what you are looking at it is the dorsal part, right? Then what about spiracles? Spiracles are there in hard tick. Okay, there is some specific location for the hard tick spiracles. So it is situated between the fourth cosa, coxa, coxa. And in uh, soft tick, these uh, spiracles are between the third and fourth coxa. Now what about the eggs? They lay several hundreds of leg, uh, eggs. Several hundreds and thousands of eggs are laid. And in soft tick, they lay eggs in batches. So guys, there are few more differences. Let's look at them. Hard tick, um, the nymph stages is just one. In soft tick, the stages are five stages of nymph are there. Uh, nymphal stages are five in soft tick. Habits, so you already saw this. Hard tick, uh, they feed continuously day and night. And uh, soft tick, they feed only in the night. And they can uh, be starving for uh, months. Okay. So that's all about uh, ticks, guys. So I think you got a lot of information in this. So basically, you should know. The diseases that are transmitted, actually these transmit even the Kyasunur forest disease, guys. So learn that also. Kyasunur forest disease is because of ticks, okay. So that's all about ticks. Remember these have four pairs of legs, okay. What else you want to know? How will you control so that uh, these ticks will not um, spread diseases? Basically you will fill up cracks and crevices, you will not let them be there. Then personal hygiene you can take care of, right? What do you think? You can think of a lot of other measures, right? Insecticides, environment, etc. So that's all for now in this video about ticks. See you. Bye-bye. 
Guys, one thing you should understand here is that these are just transmitting the disease causing agent like in Casanur forest disease, it is transmitting the virus, the Casanur forest virus, right, which is a uh, part of the virus family Flaviviridae, okay. Then what do you think about viral encephalitis, name itself says, so these will transmit the virus, okay. Relapsing is, uh, fever is caused by what? It's caused by bacteria, okay. The bacteria Borrelia, okay. So these are just transmitting these disease causing agents.